Brass Facts here. Today we're going to take a look at something slightly different. While most of my focus has generally been on tactically oriented gear, sometimes it's uh, good to take a step back and have some fun with some milserps. While I personally don't own any yet, please God no, a good friend of mine does, so I would figured I'd take you along the ride as I explore his addiction, his collection. Disclaimer, I know jack shit about these things, and I'm generally just regurgitating info I've been told. So take this more of a cool video of old guns and not a definite source of knowledge. Today we're looking at the Rashid. It is a 7.62x39 semi-automatic rifle made for the Egyptian military. Much like our M14, these things were going to be the next coming of Christ, and then after being introduced got promptly replaced by the Mahdi uh, within two years as the Soviet AK variants began their complete takeover of the non-capitalist world. It very closely resembles an SKS, though its lineage takes it back to the AG-42 Youngman, combined with the Hakim rifle, which shoots the 8mm Mauser cartridge, you get a bunch of sibling rifles that are extremely similar in function and design. Going along the rifle from the front end, you'll notice a SKS-style bayonet, for when your magazine is depleted, but your enemies are not. Further down, you'll notice a notch section that is used for gas adjustment, also known as an adjustable gas block. You have AK-style leaf sights with the usual incredibly optimistic ranging. Markings on the side indicated it was imported from the UAR, or United Arab Republic, a short-lived union between Syria and Egypt. And the magazine, while designed to take stripper clips, is in fact detachable, though it's obviously not meant to be done quickly. The gas system is a DI system, like the AR-15, and the charging handle is non-reciprocating. Not bad for an old rifle. On to the takedown.
And there's the disassembly and assembly. Only about 8,000 of these were ever made, but it's not particularly in demand regardless of its cool feature set and accessible round. It's currently going for about a thousand bucks. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this quick look at the Rashid. Considering subscribing if you enjoy this type of content. I also got a bunch of cool stuff coming up. More Millsurps, Night Vision, and uh, reviews. This has been Brass Facts for you. Have a nice day.